Oh, 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 hi. Hi, Slidari. Thank you, Slidari, for changing the shit. Howdy, folks. Yet again, we're going to be playing Igus of Earth, Pro Novus Assault. This, don't worry, this one actually is not a visual novel. It's it's a game. It's a, ta it's a very interesting-looking tower defense game. Let's see if it's actually good. I don't know if I need the disc in there. The disc is currently not in there because it did install, so I don't know if it needs the disc. I'm going to assume it doesn't need the disc. You start this game, you must insert the following disc. Okay, so I do need the disc. All right. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> um, yeah, this game is weird because you go to like the disc, right? And it just gives you this install thing, and then you install it, but it apparently still needs the disc. I don't, I don't know. That's weird. I've never had a PS3 game do that before. Uh, this game is also apparently on Steam. It's also on PC, but I've heard that that version is very badly ported. So, if you're gonna play this, it's probably you probably want to play it on PS3. I've never played it before. But I bought it. I was actually rather excited. I am rather excited. A little bit. I'm I'm a little destroyed by Tokyo Twilight right now. <laughs> All that talking, which was okay. And then, uh, oh, it's going to be one of these things. All right, hold on. I got to go get right up to the TV to make sure that this is correct. One second. Did you guys not hear my song about blowing a man's dick? Did you guys not hear that? <laughs> Acquire? I've never heard of these developers. I've heard of Axis. That's about it. Powered by Unity. Mm. <laughs> Cryware. Venus. All tonight. After the silent apocalypse, a new natural resource emerged as our last hope of survival. As we all teetered on the brink of extinction, mining Altonite became our lifeblood. By building cities over rich deposits of Altonite, we somehow managed to carve an existence for ourselves. There was hope, only a strand. But at least we had something to believe in. But even hope was soon to be cruelly snatched away from our feeble grasp by those colossal beasts that rose to prominence over the years. The Protonovus, the gargantuan life forms we dubbed simply as the enemy, began attacking our cities as if they wanted to wrest Altonite from mankind's grasp. That was 50 years ago. Thanks to the monumental efforts and sacrifices of our forefathers, today we at last have cities with the firepower and defenses to keep our enemy at bay. But to ensure our continued survival, to remain one step ahead of the enemy and protect our growing populations, the task of bolstering our cities remains never-ending. And let us not forget, we must also prepare for the inevitable onset of the second apocalypse. Altered states. Okay. The fuck is an altered state? <laughs> the fuck is that? This was made in 2016? Wow, okay. It's not even- it's not even old. <laughs> Okay. I'm hyped, kind of. I'm, t I'm tired, because Tokyo Twilight. God. Oh, right. Full voice acting. Ooh. Pleased, to meet you, sir. Pleased to meet you, Toa. You perky little tits. They're not little. <laughs> Well, the Admiral, anyway. 
Her voice is very quiet, so if it's quiet for you guys, it's quiet for me. The game didn't give me exactly any settings, so. I keep telling him he needs to plan things out better, but nope. Never listens to little old me. Your mission here in Kimberly is to develop the city's defenses and turn it into a safe haven for its residents. Did somebody say haven? Because that's the game I made. <laughs> we need to build a city that can thwart any enemies that come to our gates and keep our residents' minds at ease. Oh, and on a side note, could you introduce any eligible men to me if you happen to know any? Flamis, I have a waifu for you. If you want it. <laughs> Flam is <laughs> take her away. That my only companions are my books. Kinda sad, huh? The Flamus does need more than one. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> and Flamus, the wife who's asking for you. Yo. What's up, bro? Lovelock? Your name is Lovelock. Okay. Let me think. Okay, okay. <laughs> and Flamis, did you fall asleep? <laughs> I don't blame you. Huh. That Tokyo Twilight battle system? Garbage. I would have preferred if it was just a visual novel. <laughs> With the love and taste. Love and taste thing, that would be fine. You're playing Gaimu? I don't know what the fuck Gaimu is. Yep. Mr. Homanic. <laughs> ah! Almost choked on that last piece, did ya? Did ya? Is he Jewish? <laughs> Got it. His arm looks so... That's such an awkward pose. It's so awkward. Yo. Sure. It's also especially rare to um, find a tower defense game that's on a disc, let alone on a console. There's not many on consoles, but it, this this was a disc release. It was sold in retail stores. It still is. <laughs> that's just that's, that's weird. <laughs> I forgot to sign up for that speed dating event. I'm 26 with great prospects and still up for grabs, sir. And Flamis! Take her away! Add her to the hair. Uh, she talks a lot, I warn you. <laughs> it's me, Newman. Uh huh? No. Yes.
That's right. Well then. Got it. Carry out one strikes with Kimberly. Okay. Oh, cool. It goes right into the game like that. That's nice. So nice. the first thing to cover is unit construction. It's the most fundamental part of city development and defense. We, of course, need weapons units to take on the enemy. But people can't live here unless we also have residential units. Now, the towering building at the heart of the city is the command center. You will have noticed the crane, I presume. That's the crane used to construct new units after you've singled out a vacant plot of land. For the record, I do love tower defense game. So. <laughs> Move the crane with the left stick. Use the green empty plot and press the X button. Of course, okay. Units, you need both capital funds and crystals, but I'll explain those to you later. Now, I'd like to tell you a little about enemy strikes. That's certainly the most important of our duties. You can check details about the enemies around each city on the world map. Enemy types are automatically detected, so you can decide which sort of enemy you think you should tackle. But that will lure the enemy in. But under your expert guidance, Commander, we'll take out whatever dares to come our way. As soon as the enemy comes within range of our weapons units, they'll attack automatically. But, of course, enemies can come from all sides, so we have to rotate the city's zone so the units are pointing in the right direction. That's where you come in, Commander. Oh, if the command center at the heart of the city gets taken out, it's all over. We all die. Be careful. So do be careful we don't all die. Is that too much information for one session? I'm not sure if I managed to explain everything clearly. See, wow, this game actually acknowledges that, whereas Tokyo Twilight's like, here's the battle system. How do I use the battle system? Here's the battle system. <laughs> Let's try and go to go to mission control, select map, and press the X button. Click the city on the world map, press the X button, select the enemies you want to attack. Rotate the ring zone up and down, switch zone. So, I'm just going to get used to the controls here. Okay, so I move the crane. That looks awkward. <laughs> that looks really awkward. Okay. I can't rotate anything yet. I guess I can only do that in combat. And I can't build anything. I guess I can't build nothing. I can build nothing. Okay, so gotta go to the map. Enter your operators and check on their status. Map. Kimberly. Here are all the enemies sighted near the city, sir. Uh. What's the difference between these two? All right, let's just pick that for now. Shall we conduct a strike on these enemies? It's only one enemy. Yes. Threat eradication order. Battle stations. Let's commit one. genocide. Everyone, get the ovens. Oh, I see. I can't build anything during combat. Okay. I see. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, this is neat. I see, and that's going to show me where the enemies are coming from. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. No, this makes sense to me. Okay. I'm okay with this. Strike progress fifty percent. Halfway there, crew. So close to the end. Stay sharp. Awesome. Just hit seventy five percent strike. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Here's the report. Do you like it? I like it. Here are our strike results. That's all the data right there. I'll send it off to R&D for analysis. Next up is how our latest strike results have affected the city's happiness levels. So it's like Sim City meets Tower Defense? That's good. <laughs> That's fine. Overall happiness has That's increased. good. I like it. That's great. Thanks to the outcome of that last strike, people are asking for permission to live in our city. I would like to live in the city that has giant fucking insects trying to kill us. Yes, please. <laughs> Levels too. Which operator do you feel contributed the most to that last strike? Oh, when you reward operators for good work, they get a boost of energy and accrue experience too. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Good good job, Tawa. Good job. Wait, I, no, no, not. She's uh, I mean, I I I'm probably gonna go gay for Love Lock. Although I love Tarkov's energy. Tarkov. Tarkov's energy. the kind of guy who comes through when you're in a real pinch, huh? Sorry about all those other times. <laughs> Sorry about all those other times. Okay. I like you, Tarkov. I like you. That's it for you're the nice. report. I like you. Thank you for your excellent leadership as always, sir. I like how I can only say one good job to one party member. The rest of you suck. <laughs> I just love Tarkov's face all the time. He just like, he has that face of like, want a bang. <laughs> By the way, uh... Commander. tender loving care. You guys remember that one, right? <laughs> That's right. It's on YouTube actually now. If you want to watch that again, that was a good stream. How do you feel about horse penis, Clarel? Hmm. <laughs> Depends on the time of day. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh... Let's see now. I think. I think I'm proud of protecting my city. I think. Wait a sec. Woo. Got it. Yo. Hey. Um. So, is Tawa the only one with, like, normal hair in this game? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, it is anime, so. Normal anime. <laughs> um, Those two things do not mix. Um. Woo. <laughs> 
So research and development. I guess uh, you're gonna teach me that now at some point. Once this dialogue's over. Yeah. Does anyone else here actually like uh, tower defense games besides me? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't play them too often because most of them are interchangeable to say the least. The last one I actually played to any decent extent was... Um, it was a 2D one. It was called Kingdoms or something. It's on Steam. It has a sequel that recently came out. Huh? I liked it up until the point where it started getting really, like... It started getting specific in terms of how they wanted you to play the level. And that's a no-no in tower defense games, as far as I'm concerned. It's like, I want to play the level how I want to play the level. Nice. Not how the designers wanted me to. Most of them are unfair slash unbalanced. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like tower defense games, and a lot of them do this, where the developer's like, you need to use these towers and this towers in order to beat this level. You can't do it any other way. That's why I didn't like that game up to, like, it was, it was... It lasted well until, like, the last quarter of the game, and then they started throwing that shit in there. I like freedom. Quote-unquote freedom, because, you know, free will's bullshit, but I like to be able to just play it how I want to play it. Got it. This game is definitely a very, rather unique tower defense game so far from what I've even just played for the first level. I it's see. actually rather unique because, um, number one, it doesn't have a maze system. There's no there's no enemies going along in a line. Um, it's just coming at you. Number two, you get to pick your actual waves that you want to attack you. So you actually get to pick your difficulty and in turn also gets to pick your rewards, I suppose. And you also have an action element to it, so it's not just putting down the tower and that's it. And um, you actually get to rotate your towers and you have to actually pay attention to your surroundings. So you're actually protecting a city, so you're, you know, looking around the city, so to speak. So that's rather unique. And, and the setup is definitely incredibly unique. <laughs> that's for sure. They, usually they don't, they don't have a setup as well done as this. We already established that she's the channeler. <laughs> um. What do you mean? Okay. Huh. That's fine. A good tower defense game that's free. There's one in the browser. I forget what the hell it's called, but it's one that has, like, only three towers in it, but you can, like, upgrade them and all that kind of jazz. It's very simple, but it is free, and it's definitely serviceable. It's pretty okay. But I forget what the hell it's called. It's like, well, Clara, what's the fuck? I don't know if I forgot. <laughs> Got it. But it's free. <laughs> On browsers, good luck finding it. <laughs> this is, like, fucking dozens. <laughs> But like I said, tower defense games are pretty rare to find on consoles. On PS3, for example, I actually own another one called Comic Crash. Not that great, last I checked. Um, but I own it. Um, but there's also a few other ones, like Savage Moon, I think, is on PS3. And there's probably some others that I'm not thinking of. I know there's, like, a music one on PS3. I think it's also on Steam. Um, but this game, like I said, was weird, and it stuck out to me because I saw it in on shelves in GameStop. I was like, what? I didn't buy this from GameStop. I got it from Amazon. I think it was like $20 new, and I got it new because I wanted to support the devs because I was like, at the very least, it's a tower defense game on a PS3 that actually got a disc release. Like, I don't know of any tower defense game that got a disc release for any console. Ever. <laughs> So weird to me. Except one dandelion dockings. Okay. A 
dandelions arrive near the city. We'll be there until you give them permission to enter our airspace. Okay. Can I uh, buy anything? How was your first strike? Don't worry. It never goes the way you planned at first. But you'll get used to it soon. I like how she says that. Like, we're dealing with people who can die. You know that, right, Toa? You know that, right? <laughs> Ego shooter? What's an ego shooter? Comet Crash is not a shooter, but you control a ship on like a top down perspective. I can show you guys at some point. I don't think it's really worth streaming per se. So maybe when we do like another like go through random indie games on PS3 or something day or something like that. I mean, you can just look up gameplay, but I'm probably not going to bother. I Germaned again. First person. Oh, okay. <laughs> First person tower defense game? Oh, you mean Sanctum. Right, okay. Uh, I would stream Sanctum, actually, if I could run it. I can't run it. I can run Sanctum 2 if I turn out the lights in the any file. I can open any any file, and you, you can adjust some settings to try to gain FPS, and I was playing around with some other things to turn off. I ended up turning off the lights like everything was black. Like, you could see the outlines of, like, the models, but all the textures were black, so just every- it was unplayable. But it ran nicely. <laughs> Press start during the strike to display the emergency storeroom. You could change the game's difficulty settings from settings under mission control. I don't think I should explain how you go about boosting the city's population. It's the only first-person tower defense game I know of. You see, when you complete a mission, you'll get I don't think there's any others. People who want to move to the city. We're under constant threat from the enemy these days. So if people think a city is safe, they want to live there. When you get residence requests, pick a port where the migrants... You didn't get the memo that there's only like four people protecting this city? Because that doesn't seem very safe to me. Let alone four like teenagers. <laughs> then we'll get to bring the migrants into the city. And that will increase the city's population. We'll get to bring migrants into the city. That will increase the city's population. I don't need to say anything, right? <laughs> the number and level of the residential units, or the migrants would be rejected due to lack of housing. If only that was the case in real life! Okay. Units. This zone is quarantined and cannot be developed. Is that also quarantined? Okay, so anything that looks destroyed is quarantined. And I can't build in there because that's like just desert. Okay, so I can't build there. I don't think it's ever randomized. It'd be I'd be curious to see if it was randomized. Our tax revenues. Our residents are really helping us out. That's the tax revenue? Social commentary. I know, right? Oh, so that's the processing plant? Aluminite. Okay. I don't want to make Aluminite because I'm not sure what that exactly does. Okay, so 17 citizens want to join us. I need to make a house. Residences. Accommodation for the population needs to build a few to bring in new residents and a recreation park. Okay, well, right now I just need residents. Can I only build residents right now? Is that all it's going to let me do? I think that's all it's going to let me do. That is a residence already. Okay, but I need more residences, I guess. What's my max residence? It's like, what's the max people I can have? Residence S0 out of 0. I think I could just take those people in. I don't think I need to actually build any new residences. There's a dandelion in a holding pattern outside the city. Requesting permission to dock. Shall I give it the all clear? Yeah. We have, we have the housing, right? Roger. The dandelion's gonna be entering our airspace any minute now. I've never seen a tower defense game with like this kind of like setup. It's really impressive. The dandelion has docked safely. Okay, I'll see that all these new residents get processed ASAP. Going great, isn't it? 
Okay. Let's keep making the city grow and grow and grow. Nobody talks about this game either, by the way. I think actually more people talk about Tokyo Twilight than this game. <laughs> Power defense is just that niche. That when you shove anime into it, it's still fucking like... <laughs> still unheard of. So I need 58 citizens? Okay. So I guess my population is currently 42. And then I guess I need to get to 58. My question is, what's the max people I can just hold? Because I didn't need to build a residence. How is anyone here a migrant? You're all Japanese. <laughs> Missile launcher. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well then. Understood. Uh. I get a small fee. <laughs> Enola Gay. I don't get it. <laughs> Commander. That's right. I can now develop the missile. The missile built three missiles in Kimberly. Built three. Ooh. Of Christian Winston Jan. Oh, Sladuri. You're funny when you're not sleeping. <laughs> okay, so it wants me to build three missiles. I think I need to first unlock them technically with the research. R&D. Missile. There we go. I think I'm hungry. What? You want me to drop a blueprint? As you yeah, do, do it. All done. Not bad. Wow, this game this actually lets me play. It. And it explains stuff actually to a decent degree without holding my hand. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Unlike Tokyo Twilight, which kind of held my hand in the beginning and then the first actual battle, it's like, there you go. <laughs> Fortify armor level two needs approval. Oh, yes. Allied command hasn't approved that design yet. I could shout it out if I let you develop it. Oh, okay, so I can't fortify armor. Okay. Enola Gay was the plane that dropped the atom bomb. Okay. <laughs> well, I did talk about Hiroshima before, right? Although that was was that an atom bomb or was that the first nuke? What was the first atom bomb dropped? Um, okay, choose a mission. I want to go back to my city. There we go. Okay, you just hit circle. Okay. So now we want to build three of those. So I've got three cannons here. This is complicated, actually, because, like, in a good way, because I gotta, I can only rotate each thing in a circle. But I have to actually think about where I want to put the cannon. Put one cannon there. Units temporary. Oh, wait, those are temporary? Oh, I see. I think you can only put, like, defensive structures on the outer wall here. Okay. So I can put, like, missiles here. Okay, so I can put anything here. Anything in these three rings, I can put anything. This stuff, I can only put temporary stuff because it'll get destroyed. Okay, I got it. I got it. So we're going to put... I might as well put the missiles. I, they want me to build three. So. I might as well build three missiles next to the cannons. If you actually care about the text, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to start just reading it myself and going on. But if you care, let me know. 
Huh? Hey now. Okay, okay. All right. Hey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Understood. Hmm. Welcome party. Do I get a new party member or something? <sighs> I need a vacation too if my arm was stuck in that pose. It's like the most uncomfortable arm position. Arms are not meant to be hung up like this forever. I hate this job. I hate protecting people. <laughs> Come on, I just I gave him the good job too. Come on now. All clear. Uh, but... Really? Nope. Got it. Got it. Why don't you just date Lovelock, Toa? He's pretty sexy. Right? Or do you just not like men with purple hair? Maroon hair. It's, ma it's maroon. It's maroon. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay! Let's commit genocide! Yay! <laughs> Carry out one strike. Defeat ten times tick tick. Carry out one strike. All right, I have money. I don't, I'm not gonna do that thing because I don't know what the hell that actually does for me. Uh, let me. Tr that's a re that's a generator. Fortify costs that, and it improves its HP and output. Okay, but well, I don't need to do that because I don't. I have plenty of megawatts. Okay. I can also fortify the residence, HP, and capacity. Oh, Residence S can hold 1,200 people, so I don't, need, I don't need to build a Residence at all. Yay, let's carry out Genocide, Clara at Auschwitz. Of course. <laughs> Counter Missile B. What the fuck does Counter Missile B do? I don't know what that does, but okay. It doesn't actually have a range, so I don't know what... I guess it just counters missiles thrown at me? I don't know. Um, I don't have that much money. Missile... And then, I mean, I'm just going to stick with this setup because that way I don't have to focus on anything more than one direction. Well, I need to focus on multiple directions, but at least I have like a setup where I have two things combined. You really, I, I can kind of see myself where I focus on just each circle of what each circle possesses. That's a better way to think about it rather than what is facing what direction per se. Because like this circle has these two things, so I only need to worry about those two things. It's, it's simplifying it. So it's complicated, but also simplifying it. Okay, uh, let's just go to another strike then. Because I can't really build any... I can build a park, technically, but I'm not going to do that yet. I also get access to other cities, so you do actually get to play with other cities at some point. Here are all the enemies sighted near the city, sir. I need to defeat 10 Tick Tick. I don't know what a Tick Tick is. Maybe a Tick Tick is that second enemy, so I guess I'm going to play with two enemies at once. Okay. Shall we conduct a strike on these enemies? That's the thing. It shows you two enemies of the same patterns, but it doesn't actually tell you if there's a difference in numbers or anything. It's Threat just like... Eradication order. Weird. Battle stations, everyone. City switching to battle configuration. Stowing the crane. The controls are actually very simple. A little confusing for now, but I'll probably get used to it, but they're pretty simple. It's just really up, down, and then L1, R1, that's, a, that's really all I gotta do. And right stick to move the camera. I do wish the camera didn't move in steps. It moves in steps. This game is on PC as well, in case you're interested and you don't have a PS3. 
but I heard it's pretty shit on PC. It's a bad port, so I would recommend the PS3 version, which runs fine as far as I can see. I think it's actually 60 FPS, too. What would you like to use? The phone is really annoying. Uh, I don't want to use anything. <laughs> I just had to pause. The city's not going to make it. Yes, it will. It actually ups the tension pretty early on here. Actually, I didn't realize this. I want to pause to explain this. Each circle also rotates to a different degree, so like the inner circle has less rotational capacity because it's smaller, and the outer circles have more rotational capacity because they're bigger. Thought I would mention that. I just noticed that in terms of the controls. See, like, look how much that rotates, and look how much that rotates. It's a little smaller rotation, so it gets more... Yeah, I couldn't move one of my rings for some reason. I could not move one of my rings? It's weird. I don't think I lost anyone, though. Because none of the buildings were actually hit. The difficulty amps up really, uh, really quick. Cannons do not have very long range. They don't have, like, that cannon wasn't firing until I moved it over a little bit. It needs to be, like, dead on to actually fire. I don't think I lost anyone. Because they actually have to attack the actual houses to uh, kill people. Leveled up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Congratulations. What a great achievement, Commander. I didn't get a trophy, though. Next up is how our latest strike results have affected the city's happiness levels. Okay, so the damage does make people unhappy, but nobody died. Yeah. Because they actually have to... I like that. They actually have to attack the town... The town buildings to actually kill people. Overall happiness they only increased. attacked my towers a little bit. That's great news. Thanks to the outcome of that last strike, people are asking for permission to live in our city. Shit must be really bad if people like are like, yeah, I want to live in the place that let a few guys slip through. <laughs> this is great. These are the crystals we managed to procure from the enemy in the last strike. Um, next is the report on operator performance. Make sure you keep a close eye on focus and energy levels too. Which operator do you feel contributed the most to that last strike? Lovelock is actually a little bit down. I see. You also want to take care of their energy levels, and the way you do that, like, their love heart thing, the energy level is, like, the left one, I think, and their morale is probably the love. Um, and you also, when you praise them, they get plus 20 love, so you want to, like, keep that in check. Okay. Well, Toa's technically the lowest, so. Love lock is actually sad. I actually like that. I don't know if the game actually scripted. This, like, I, I don't think it was scripted. I think it was random, because obviously I let some slip through. I didn't, I wasn't supposed to. But I noticed that when I slipped through, Lovelock was the one that said, sorry, I let them slip through. And he's one of the lower ones with Toa. So I don't know if that's, like, actually the game sort of randomly assigning someone fucked up, so to speak. When you fuck up, someone fucks up, and then they get disappointed or something like that. I don't know if the game is doing that, but if it is doing that, that's pretty cool. Well, of course I did. That's it for the report. Oh, and Admiral Newman is. And Flamis, you can't have her. She's mine now. <laughs> Hello, Newman here. Your performance in battle recently has been nothing short of remarkable. Isn't that the same voice actor from Ghost in the Shell? I've just received word that your strike results have surpassed Allied Command's benchmark for your rank. In other words, you're up for promotion. Well done. So, well, I thought I'd send over a little congratulatory gift. It's nothing special, you understand. Just something run-of-the-mill. Don't feel the need to give something in return. It should prove very useful for the continued development and defense of your city. You didn't like anime. That doesn't mean I can't have a waifu. <laughs> a tower defense waifu is the best waifu. So, back 
She knows how to protect the penis. I'm expecting great things as ever. City development like we've never seen. I'll put our bonuses into the storeroom. The way she says storeroom. Sexy. <laughs> Thank you for your excellent leadership as always, sir. I like this game. I like this game. I, I, I bought this months ago, right? And I was like, I gotta stream it. You know? I mean, I'm glad I streamed it. But I like this game. I like this game. I like it. I like it. Nobody knows about it, but I like it. <laughs> nobody nobody talks about this game. Nobody does. Yo. Like I said, I think more people talk about Tokyo Twilight than this thing. But... What town is there? There's like one residential building. That's all we have. Everyone. Also, I'm pretty sure if your job is to protect the city, I'm pretty sure you don't actually get to leave. <laughs> like, your position ever. Got it. So horrible. Okay, okay. Oh. A day off for the whole crew? How does the whole crew get a day off? Our job is to protect the city. Everyone just goes home. We did it. Whew. Let's see. Okay, sure. That's right. Oh, come on. Okay. Yes! No way. Huh? Okay, okay. Uh... Right, bulwark, so I can build walls now, I guess, on the outer ring. Got okay. It. We should install three bulwarks and give our city That's a bit right. more defense. You got it, lady. I can now build a Bulwark E, which is probably the shittiest Bulwark in the game. <laughs> Anyone else like this game? I like this game. I can see myself streaming more of this. If you guys are interested. Not, we still have like an hour and a half, by the way, so it's not like the stream's over. Okay. See, I like that the game is explaining that thing now, but I already touched it before, and I already got my, like, taxes and shit. So, again, the game's, like, certainly holding my hand a little bit, but it's still letting me do shit. <laughs> Okay, collect. I like how I drag the crane over my tax collection. <laughs> okay. Um, my question is, do we take any of the runes and just make it, or like? Yeah, but do I use the crystals for anything else? No, I don't think I use the crystals for anything else. The crystals just are different colors because they give different amounts of illuminite. Okay, I don't think I use the crystals for anything else. So. Okay, that makes me think that we do use crystals for something. So hold on, I'm not going to use to make any Illumini unless we need it. Okay. Units, temporary. Bulwarks are not... Uh... Oh, do I need to first research bulwarks? Is that what I have to... Yeah, I have to first research it. Hold on. Gotta research the bulwarks first. Oh, I can make new guns. And you're still researching that? I, need to, I see, I need to be level 3 to get that access, and I need to be level 5 to get that access. Repair drones? Okay. What? You want me to drop a blueprint? Yeah, draw that shit up. I've completed the blueprint of a temporary unit. It's very nice, no doubt about it. You can only build temporary units in zone 4. And I'm curious to see when we get to uh, access other cities, you know, what differences they have in them in terms of, like, structure and how they move or something like that. That could be... That could be interesting. I'm curious. Otherwise, I still like the game. E even where we're at right now, I like it. Okay, so I want to go back to my planning and build bulwarks. So they don't actually, they do cost 220 Illuminite. Okay, so they cost Illuminite. Okay. Um.
I noticed that actually it always resets the town back to like its default rotation. So I could still like put like a bulwark here and use it to protect like this city, but I also have to bear in mind what would be rotated on the other side of things. Although the outer ring is always uh, temporary stuff. So you can't put any guns on the outer ring anyway. All right, well, I guess I should just keep them all as one wall. Okay, I have plenty of money. Let's go ahead and make some more Illuminite. You know, we have enough crystals to make some Illuminite. Whatever crystals we need, yes, we'll just keep the yellow for now. And I've got plenty of power. I have plenty of resources. Like, I'm very concerned about wasting my resources, but I have plenty of uh, resources. Can I build more before we do a mission? Hey. Yep. Um. <laughs> Merging. I can merge. All right. Yes. We did it. Is that how I upgrade towers? Do I like just merge two cannons and I, I lose two cannons, but I get to make one more powerful cannon? I'm okay with that. <laughs> this two units together, three will come later. Oh, so you can merge three later. Can I merge units of different kinds? <laughs> and if so, what happens? Hybrid towers? That would be fucking cool. That'd be new. I've never seen a tower defense game with hybrid towers. I mean, merging itself is actually That's a new right. concept to me. I've never heard, seen that in a tower defense game. Okay. Can you imagine if we could merge humans too? I'd be all over you like hot tar tark. That's gay. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Wait, what? <laughs> If I could merge with Turntail here, I'd stop him running from battle and get him to do some damage. Oh, I see. Huh? <laughs> Got it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yo. Got it. That's right. We're on leave, but we're still manning the facility. I was gonna say, you can't just leave. You're defending the city. Okay, okay. <laughs> um. Oh, she has a switch, all right. It's the clitoris. To think of it. It just doesn't have an on and off button. It's only on. So it's a pretty bad switch. Oi! 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 They. Hmm. I see. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Remember to cover my butt when crunch time comes. All right. Yes. Nice. Woo. Why did you decide to save people's lives? Because the pay is great. <laughs> By the way, um, that's right. I think we're forgetting about the most important reason any of us signed up for this job: commit genocide. That's why I signed up for this. Got it. Hmm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Yay! Moan for me more, Tawa. Making Flamis jealous. <sighs> hey, hey. <laughs> okay, okay. These people are not qualified to defend a city. I've come to that conclusion. <laughs> Fight. Commander. What's my reason for taking this job? I told you, genocide. Everyone. You. I'm sorry. Can we have our employees wear shirts? Because that is too much cleavage in this room. Too much. Too much cleavage. Yeah, yeah. Inflamis. 
I found the smug lolly. <laughs> She's an intern too in Flamas. You know what that means, right? She needs a promotion. And how does how do lollies get promotion in Flamas? How do they do it? How do they do it? <laughs> <laughs> so tumbler tumbler and tumbler <laughs> head pats they get it by head pats <laughs> okay um. they all look like they might be hiding a cork or two well they are tumblerinas it looks like I, I think everyone here is a tumblerina except Tawa <laughs> I mean, I call dibs on the lolly, just, just saying. I'm gonna head pat the fuck out of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that giggle! Oh, cuteness, overload! Oh, 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 shivers. <laughs> cuteness, overload. Okay, okay. Clara cannot tolerate that much cuteness in one giggle. That's so mean. That's so adorable! Can we get rid of the giant cleavage? Come on now. You're ruining the lolly. Mufuga? Mufug. 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 This poor girl needs some love, and I've got a whole lot of love to give. If someone would just take it for once. She's talking about her tits, right? Oof. What is this game rated T? This game's rated T. Commander. <laughs> what? Wait up, wait up. This is horrible. Huh? Can't even predict when a boss is gonna show up. Huh? Bosses. What do you mean? Uh. Um. Got it. Oh, I see. It's not that. I'm sure it's Ruinot's not excited about the lolly. The fuck is wrong with you, Ruinot? <laughs> Or is Ruin not too excited about the lolly that he's occupied? <laughs> I think that I think that's the reason. I can now merge two units together. Destroy five Antrion. Okay. Let's merge my units first. I want to merge my units. Gotta merge my units. Okay, so move. How do I merge units? Do I just move them on top of each other? No, all that all that did is Oh. That merged? They didn't explain merging, but that looks like it merged. Okay, I can only merge two mi units. Okay, so that merges. Okay. I guess you just have to make them be in the uh, adjacent tile. Yep. Okay. I don't. I don't know what merging does at that point, but okay, that's interesting. So units can, can units. Let me try this. Can units be merged? 
horizontally. No, units cannot be merged horizontally, so it must be done vertically. Okay. Just tell me where you want to move it to. I'll get that move underway. <laughs> Just gotta keep saying that. All right. Um, I can only merge two units at once. That's the generator, which I don't think I don't think you can merge units that are different. I think you can only merge units that are actually like the same. And you can't merge bul bulwarks because you can't build any bulwarks on the other side otherwise. Anyway, so, um, okay. So let's do another set of cannons. Well, hold on. Can I move these residential buildings? Like, yeah. Moving doesn't cost anything. Yeah, everyone move your homes. You can make a rap out of that voice line. I'll get that move underway. <laughs> okay. What what is this? The counter missile? I don't even know what this does. But I'm gonna move it out of that circle. And move it in the inner one. There we go. I'll get the move underway. Alright, so I want a cannon. I'll get another cannon. Okay. And I'm gonna merge another cannon with that. How much power? I got plenty of resources. 205. Oh, that costs five yellow to make a cannon. I don't, I don't have enough yellow. Okay. So I can only have those two cannons. That's fine. You know what I'll do though? I'm gonna move this one. I'll get it done. There you go, merge. I think the merge also increases the width of their attack a little bit. I noticed that. Okay. That lighting engine is uh, kind of cheaply done. You can see see the shadows moving as I rotate the camera. They actually move with the camera. So the lighting engine is kind of uh, half-assed <laughs> in a way. Because the, the sun basically is moving as I'm rotating. I'm not complaining. It's a minor thing. I don't care. Um, okay, so I do need resources to actually build things. Like the actual crystals. Yeah, so yellow is used for all that. Used to attack enemies that make it into the city limits. Okay. So that's what counter missiles B do. Okay. It doesn't cost me any energy to do that? Okay, it does cost me energy. So let me actually move this. Can I merge counter missiles? I can't merge counter missiles. No. Okay. It doesn't seem like they merge. Okay. I don't need a new residence. Gonna have a max of 32 of them. A place for your city's population to relax with events for young and old alike. Okay. Uh, cannon, Gatlings, missiles. That's all units right there. Okay. Um, I want to build more bulwarks. But what do those cost? 20 Illuminite. Okay. I'll build another one. It'll be done in a jiffy. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Anything I can research? No. I'm bored. I'm bored, bored, bored. I know. Okay. I think we're ready for another mission. Let's do it. Here are all the enemies sighted near the city, sir. So I was supposed to kill something new, but I don't know what it was. Because they don't actually tell me the names of anything. But that's a level two. I don't know if I'm ready for a level two. I don't know if I'm ready for a level two. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's try the level two. Can I save? Can I just save before I do anything? Actually. Would you like to make some changes to the way things work around here? Yes, I would also like to save. All right, reduce the music volume. Reduce that. There we go. That way the dialogue is uh there. 
Dialogue S, Dialogue L. I don't know what that means. Difficulty, normal, easy, and hard. I'm going to keep it on normal. Because <laughs> it's actually definitely ramping up pretty quick here. Alright, save. I think it was auto-saving before. Yeah, I've seen that icon. Okay. Savey, save. Okay. Mission. Here are all the Shall we Level 2. Oh, and units merge on the fly, too, during combat. Ooh, that's nice. I didn't know that. So units can actually merge on the fly during combat. Yeah, so missiles are long range and cannons are short range. So I'm probably going to move my shit around to make more sense because cannons are definitely like shorter range and also very specific in their range. Yeah, see missiles aren't very good at shooting close targets. Okay. Got it, got it. Now we're getting aerial enemies as well. That guy I need to be careful of because he will fire. Yeah, so he can actually attack from a long distance. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That it? Enemy swarm destroyed. Strike progress, 100%. Oh, wow, what a sense of achievement. I like this game. I like it. Hey, Sladuri, I like something. <laughs> Here's the report. Here are our strike results. That's all the data right there. I'll send it off to R&D for analysis. Next up is how our latest strike results have affected the city's happiness level. No damage. Overall happiness has increased. That's great news. Thanks to the 54 people want my ass. Mm. 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 This is great. These are the 
crystals we managed to procure from the enemy in the last. Let me check something. I think Ruinat left. Did Ruinat leave? <laughs> um, Ruinat's not showing up the viewer list, so. Ruin not Twitch doesn't like you. <laughs> if you're assuming you're still here. Keep a close eye on focus and energy levels too. Which operator do you feel contributed the most to that last strike? So what happens when one of them levels up is my question. <laughs> uh the lowest energy is either of these. I'm gonna give uh Like what do their levels really do is my question. That's that's my qu like what do their level ups do? They never really explained what what that actually accomplishes, but okay. Chisa. Really? Yay! I am so glad you noticed me out there. I'm glad you noticed that me, senpai. Really good. That's it for the report. Okay, city maintenance is all done, so it's just on to the regular running of things now. A dandelion's arrived near the city. They'll be there until you give them permission to enter our airspace. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I need to move things around because now that I understand there, things a little better. Perhaps this is a good time for me to explain about happiness. It's the value the arrow is pointing at now. Let me explain how to be happy, Commander. Basically, that value indicates how happy the residents of the city are. When it's high, word will spread about the city being great to live in, and you'll get lots of residents' requests. In other words, the happier the population is, the more quickly it will grow. It's almost like this game has better government policies than real life. Okay. Um, oh, that is a recreation park. We already have a park? I didn't know we already have a park. Just tell me where you want to move it to, and I'll get it done. Move it into the inner circle. Okay. Um... So I want to move things around now that I understand that, like, cannons are short range. So that's... Cannons have 45 range. And missiles have 80, yeah. And missiles suck at hitting things close range, though. So even though they have the range like that, they suck at hitting things close range. Okay, so I'm going to move the cannons to be, like, actually closer together. Um... Well, actually, what I need, actually... Okay, you move canceled. Yeah. I want to put this missile to the back. These things. And then I want to build another missile behind it to merge it. I do have enough crystals. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we could fit the population in. Yeah, we could just bring them in. There's a dandelion in a holding pattern outside the city. Total capacity. Yeah, I got plenty of capacity, so pff, why not? Roger. The dandelion's gonna be. Oh, great! They've arrived safely. You're in good hands, everyone. Yeah, Tumblerina's gonna help you out. These new residents get processed ASAP. Look at all these dudes flooding into the city because of how awesome you are, Commander. <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh, I also got 50 Illuminate from all that. We finished processing all the new residents. The Dandelion's going to be leaving again soon. Okay, I need 284 to the next level. Get my taxes. Thank you for your taxes. You don't thank people for their taxes. That's just silly. Okay. Um, I mean, I could afford plenty of shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm so worried about my resources, but I'm not lacking in resources. So. Alright, let's move this cannon. Just tell me where you want to move it to. And I'll get it. Okay, I'll get 
Then I want to build another cannon there. Get that merged. There we go. Um, I don't have any more yellow crystals. Does it cost yellow crystals to build bulwarks? No, it costs illuminate to build bulwarks. Okay, well, we might as well. Okay. And one more over there. On the double. What a great lolly. Wee, wee. Go spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> okay, I think we're uh, good to go. Can I fortify things? I don't have enough yellow or luminite. I don't have enough luminite for that. Fortify does increase everything's attack. But I haven't really found the need to do that yet. Uh, but let me... I can't use these yellow crystals for anything anyway, so I might as well convert them into Illuminate. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade this missile. That costs 10, okay. Level 2. And then upgrade this cannon. Upgrade that cannon. Starting the fortification work now. It'll Upgrade that missile. Blink. The unit fortification has started now. I'll make sure it's done a flash. Okay, upgrade this cannon. I've got the unit fortification started. Please wait a while. It'll be done shortly. Alright, we if we've got more, might as well upgrade. It doesn't cost that much to upgrade these things. I do wish they looked different when you level them up, but they don't. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But whatever. How much does it cost to upgrade a cannon? It only costs five, so there you go. They can be leveled up to level ten, actually. Maybe they do change graphics, but only at certain like thresholds. Maybe. Can you upgrade those? No, you can't upgrade bolt works. Okay. Can I upgrade generators? You can, yeah, okay. Alright, cool. I think we're actually ready to just go to the next mission. Uh, anything I can research? No. Let's do level three. Shall we conduct a strike on yeah. Eradication Should we kill everyone? Yes. Everyone. Oh wait, can I not? I don't think I can hit those with anything. Yeah, I can't hit those with cannons. Cannons can't hit those. Okay, so those things that attack me from long range, I also can't hit them. And those things are better killed with that. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So definitely certain enemy types are weaker to certain... It's all fine. There we go. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's got nice strategy for just starting. 
certain enemies you do want to attack with certain things. The bulwarks you want to keep protected in the actual areas that enemies are attacking you. That's a new one. I don't know what that enemy does. It's probably it's just a tank. It looks like it's just a tank enemy. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of glad I fortified those things. Because <laughs> I needed the extra attack power, that's for sure. Oh, that's that little block. That little block. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that last second block. Nice, nice. Like our weapons are an extension of my body. Like a penis. Well, my penis is my body. <laughs> Here are our strike results. Level three. Congratulations! What a great achievement, Commander! Hello, all. There's a new unit available for development that I wanted to tell you about. I've come up with a fantastic idea for a new unit. Have a look in the R&D lab later for a sneak preview. Gatling guns? I think I unlocked Gatling guns. So anyway, that's about it, really. Bye for now. Next up is how our latest strike results have affected the city's happiness levels. Everybody happy! I make everyone in the world happy. Everyone. <laughs> Thanks to the outcome of that last strike, people are asking for permission to live in our city. We've managed to secure a lot of residence requests. These are the crystals we managed to procure from the enemy in the last strike. Um, next is the report on operator performance. She's always like so concerned about operator performance. She's like kind of hesitant to be like, yeah, you got to tell us how shit we were. Do you feel contributed the most to that last strike? It's not about what I feel, it's about what, who the hell is the most sad right now, and Lovelock needs some love. <laughs> Alright! You know awesomeness when you see it, huh, Commander? Oh, there's more where that came from. That's it for the report. Oh, and Admiral Newman is on the line. I'll just patch you through. Hello, Newman here. Your performance in battle recently has been nothing short of remarkable. No, you know who that always actor also is? Do you guys remember Catherine? He's the voice of the guy who would give you the beer trivia when you drank in Catherine. It's that voice. I don't think it's the guy from Ghost in the Shell. No, I don't think it is. But it's definitely the same voice actor from Catherine, the uh, beer guy. I've just received word that your strike results have surpassed Allied Command's benchmark for your rank. In other words, you're up for promotion. Well done. So, well, I thought I'd send over a little congratulatory gift. It's nothing special, you understand. Just something run of the mill. Don't feel the need to give something in return. It should prove very useful for the continued development and defense of your city. So, back to your duties. I'm expecting great things as ever. City development like we've never seen. Over and out. I'll put our bonuses into the storeroom. Okay, city maintenance is all done. So, it's just on to the regular running of things now. So what, did she unlock, like, new hey slots? <sighs> yeah. All right. Hey, you! Is that a fact? You couldn't actually do a three-way merging until now? Hmm. So now we can merge three ways as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Phew! This is bad. 
see. Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. It was full of dirty underwear. Ew. Can we not talk about women's <laughs> underwear? Can we not? <laughs> or can we? <laughs> okay, okay. And Flamis, what is your favorite smell for panties? That's right. <laughs> I'm a fan of lime. <laughs> okay. Slidery likes yeast. Disgusting. Yay! Uh... Butter me up. Butter me up. I'd like to butter her up. <laughs> huh. But Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Uh yeah, I already started using Bulwark's game. I I understood that the yeah. laser was bad. <laughs> I can now merge three units together. I like that so far, after every single level, it's adding new mechanics. That's impressive. I can actually unlock armor level two. Does that just automatically bolster everything? A dandelion's arrived near the city. We'll be there until you give them permission to enter our airspace. No answer yet, Inflamas? You don't know what kind of panties Commander, your favorite panty sure smell is? Has to do. How do you not? Well, those tits could use a lot of taking things out of. Yeah, I know, but I want to save the crystals. Silly lady. Get that shit in there. Bring these people in. We technically haven't lost any citizens yet. Technically. Nobody's died under my care. <laughs> yet. It's weird how you can never skip this. Weird. You can never skip it. It doesn't last that long, but you can never okay. skip it. We finished processing all the new residents. Okay, so I can merge three units together now. So let's build. Well, first, actually, before we build anything, I want to first research anything because that'll probably use up the most resources. So let's research first. You know what? I think I'm hungry. Well, I've got this great uh, cock for you to eat. It was in the oven recently. You want a blueprint for this one? I could certainly scribble one Yes, yeah, that's five you. yellow right there for the Gatling gun. I don't even think I could build the Gatling gun then, because it probably costs okay. yellow to make it. Not bad. This blueprint has a certain unclassy beauty about it. <laughs> Needs approval. City level four. Okay. Okay. Um, can I actually build anything? Because I don't have any crystals. Besides that. <laughs> yeah, so it costs five yellow to make that. Okay. But I can't make a Gatling gun yet. I can't make anything, actually. So, kind of stuck with what we got. Um, okay, I guess I'm not going to play with three unit merges yet, because I would like to build more guns to actually do that. Oh, I didn't even know we could do this. Not the best camera angle, though. Yeah, you can zoom in a little. It's all like in increments. It's not like... Yeah, it's all like camera movements are just in increments. It's not free flow, which is fine. But the zoom in really doesn't... Like, that does not do anything. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything. And that is just not helpful in my book. <laughs> That's just not helpful at all. Okay. I don't think I can actually build up anything. Uh, 
uh, view and use the items you have. What this items do I have? All the items we have at our disposal, sir. Memory enhancer too late increases the battle XP that operators receive from a strike mission. Device that increases the battle XP that you earn from strike missions. Chemical agent that accelerates the crystallization of Vault after an enemy is defeated. I should probably use these next fight. A supplement that restores an operator's focus and energy. Okay. Do I use that during the fight, though? Oh, wow. you can almost see an aura around everyone now. I see. I think it only activates for, like, the next mission. I think that's what it is. So, you I as well. So, you oh, yes. I don't need to use this, though. Okay. Let me save again. I mean, it seems to save automatically, but, you know, I just want to manually do it. All right, folks, I think we're going to do one more mission because it's getting quiet around here anyway. And, of course, obviously, I'm a little bit tired after Tokyo Twilight drained my energy out of me. So we're going to do one more mission. And then that'll be it, I think. But stick around for that last mission because it might get really, really intense. And by really intense, I mean my erection might actually burst through my pants. Clara, have you ever actually had an erection while on stream? No. No, I haven't. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> oh, look. There's either a request or an order from Allied Command. That's what the mail icon means. Either way, if we complete the mission, we'll get a reward. So let's do it. Enemy invasion. Do you want to accept this request? Yeah, I got a thousand monies. Why not? Threat eradication order. Threat eradication order. Penises need to be eradicated. Inside of my butt, there is poop. And I'm gonna let it out sometime. <laughs> I gotta be careful not to get in Flamus and Erection. Dangerous. Wait, what the? Did you see that speed? Good, okay, we're all good, we're all good. Do you believe in magic? It's too late, damn it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is a very unique tower defense game, honestly. It's actually got a lot of unique facets that are only in this game that, that I know of, anyway. Seriously? Triple cannon. Triple cannon. Look at that. Tri oh, the triple cannon. Look at that big penis. That's, that's that is a big penis. You gotta be careful about merges, though, because they won't fire while they're merging. So you do want to be careful about that. Don't let your guard down. Yeah, that should be fine. It'll be shot at. There we go. Yes. Triple! I love how it just gets bigger and bigger. Is that a new enemy? Yeah, that's a new enemy. Definitely cannons for that enemy, yeah. Ooh, the missiles are even targeting that. Okay, alright. I feel like I was really lucky with my placements of these cannons sometimes. <laughs> oh no, he's still gonna get through. 
There we go. Okay. There we go. Missiles are very effective as long as you put them in the right range. Nope. It's not bad at all. I fixed it. <laughs> I do like how so far each turret does feel rather distinct and is used for different jobs, basically. I like that. Because most tower defense games is like, this turret does damage, this turret does damage, that one does damage over time, this one does damage around it. You know, they all do damage. This game, it actually has, like, this turret is good for that type of enemy, this turret's good for this type of enemy. If enemies get too close, then the missile is completely useless. I like that. That's good. Here are our strike results. That's, 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 that itself is pretty original for tower defense games. Level 4. I got damage, but nobody cared. <laughs> I think it's because the damage was explicitly only on the bulwarks. So I don't think any... I, it would make sense that the citizens wouldn't be unhappy if the wall that's supposed to defend them took damage. It's weird how damage, though, that you take doesn't translate into money lost, but they do penalize you for happiness, so I guess penalizing you for both wouldn't, you know, necessarily be balanced or as easy to balance, so I guess that's why. 189 people want to come to my city now. We've managed to secure a lot of residents. These are the crystals we managed to procure. Crystals 1.5 times because I've used that item. Um, next is the Make sure you keep a Everyone gets this two times XP. How do I buy more items is my question. Because these items are very nice. Um, the lowest is Tarkov. So let's give Tarkov some love. I guess I'm the kind of guy who comes through when you're in a real. That's it for the report. Oh, and Admiral New. Hello, Newman here. Good work in your latest strike. I appreciate all your efforts in getting data for us. Not that I ever doubted you would do it. So, as promised, I sent you a bonus. I assume it has already arrived. I wish my yes, payments arrived that quick. You've earned yourself a promotion this time too. I have someone on eBay who hasn't paid me in two days. I opened a no non-paying case. Very impressive. Nothing's happened yet, so I have to wait four days for eBay to step much, in. But I hope find it Hopefully they pay in that time. Quite annoying. It is, after all, one of the regular items you have at your disposal. So, back to your duties. I'm expecting... I'll put our bonuses into the storeroom. Okay, city maintenance is all done. So, it's just on to the regular running... Raise happiness to 80 in Kimberly completed. Okay. I'll just build up the city what I can, and uh, that'll be it for the stream, I think. I definitely plan to continue this game, though. Is anyone here especially, like, excited about this game, or is it just me? Like, I'm, like I, I may be tired, so I may not be showing it, but I actually quite I, I like this game. I definitely like it. But I'm just curious if other people uh, also want to see more of it, because I, I am definitely going to probably stream this regardless, but, you know. <laughs> There's a dandel... Roger, the dandelion's going to be entering... This is a public announcement... Moving around all the time the really takes it out of you mentally and physically. Please tell the same to you. It's all right, I guess. And Flamis, you're just... Are you just in a man mood today? I feel like you're just in a meh mood. I feel like you're just like, you know, if I die today, it's fine. If I live today, it's fine. If I got anally fucked, it's fine. Okay. You're just in a meh mood, I think. Aren't you? If Flamis is actually just incapable of feeling happy. <laughs> Unless I'm inside him. Seems accurate. <laughs> All of it seems accurate. I know there's a delay, so it's like, it's accurate that he's only happy when I'm inside of him. You heard it here first, folks, and Flamis totally said that. Alright, so I got my taxes. Um, is there any, I believe there's research I can first do, so let's first do that. I can get, oh no, I need to get city level 4, okay. I thought it was commander level 4. 
All right, let's see here. What can I build? What can I build? Mm-mm. Okay. Ooh, if I want to do tier three, it's got to be units in the center circle. Okay, first let's move this. I like how moving doesn't cost anything. I like that. Also, cannons in the back row like this can't really fire that far. So really, missiles would be the best thing for here, because missiles have the longest range anyway. So, I learned that. Okay. But I need I need more guns, like, in the inner circle if I want to do triple stuff. Well, let's do a triple missile first. Because those uh, long-range guys are getting more armor, so I definitely need, like, way more attack power on that. So, what is the Gatling gun? Powerful and suppressive rapid-fire weapon, just not overly durable. It does have the most attack out of anything. But it also has the same... It has the same range as a cannon. But... More attack power. But I'm not sure if it necessarily re replaces a cannon because it might be doing a different job. It might be useful for those little guys that crawl on the ground. Cannons took those guys out, but I definitely want, like, a rapid-fire weapon for the little guys, yeah. Okay. Um... I don't want to put it there. I mean, I can always move it, but I'm going to put it in the right place. Gatling guns, I'm not going to bother with uh, using, because you can see, like, there's spaces like this one. That space right there cannot be merged with anything, because it's not lined up perfectly, so it can't be merged with anything. That actually makes me feel like I should probably put... Yeah, you know what? That's not a reason to use the Gatling gun. That's a reason to move, like... I should move... Basically, civilian buildings that can't be merged anyway should be moved into those circles that can't actually be merged with anything. That's what it should be. And that actually forces you to put your uh, civilians and your other buildings in position. Yeah, I like that game design. It basically forces you to put your civilians out of the inner circle because the inner circle can be used for guns more than anything else. So, and it forces you to make them vulnerable. If you want to actually optimize your shit. Okay, so that's the park. Let's move that. Yeah, so the civilian building should go in places that you can't merge anything anyway. Because the inner circle, you can see it lines up with everything else. So the inner circle is meant for guns. Okay, I like that. I like that. Alright, is there any more space we have? We do have one more space. So I can move this. Counter missile. Just tell me where you want to move it to. There you go. All the civilian buildings and everything are there, and the power just went out. Nice. Is the stream still up? Yeah. Stream is still up, right? Power just went out for two seconds. Well, I did save, so it's not like I lost really any progress. I just might have to like research that thing again, so it's not a big deal. Um, okay, everything's back on, technically, it's just, obviously, the console's not gonna turn on. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I guess the stream's over. I was gonna finish up upgrading and everything and making sure everything was all settled, but I guess we'll do that next time. It saves automatically, and I saved probably anyway, so I'm not pissed. I didn't lose any pro- unlike Dark Cloud. I'm- I'm going to try to get to Dark Cloud at some point so we can continue Dark Cloud because I don't want to drop it because I lost save data, but it was two hours, so I'm going to, you know. Or I might just be like, fuck it, you guys are going to watch me play the game again. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't really matter, honestly, because the dungeons are randomized to a degree, so, like, the loot and everything is different, and the layouts are different. The, there's always the same amount of Georama parts, so... I might just do that if I never get to it, because it's already been like it's only been two weeks, honestly, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh Ruinot is back. Hi Ruinot, the power went out. So everything shut off temporarily. Everything's back right now, but yeah. Um I thought you left Ruinot. <laughs> Did you leave and come back? I will definitely be continuing I guess of Earth Protonovus Assault. That is good. Um I'm gonna drop the fuck out of Tokyo Twilight. I can definitely see why it got mixed reviews. Um, to negative reviews. So yeah. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, what am I gonna do tomorrow?
I might do GBA stuff again. I might just do GBA stuff. Um, I might do GBA stuff because we haven't done that in a while and we got plenty more Game Boy Advance games to go through. So tomorrow is just going to be Game Boy Advance games. Um, you know what? I'm going to just set it up with the stream title of like playing a bunch of Game Boy Advance games. So that way I don't have to keep stopping the video, uh, stopping the stream and making a new video. I'm just going to make the whole stream just Game Boy Advance stuff. Um, so we're just going to title it, you know, that and we're going to make it games and demos just so I don't have to change the game's title all the time. So yeah, uh, tomorrow will be just GBA shit. Uh, and the reason for that mostly is the fact that this fucking mouse uh, is breaking on me. So I don't want to play anything that's requiring of a mouse. So GBA, I can use a controller. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And then I will have my new... Uh, remember, I always post my schedule for the week on Sunday. So on Sunday, uh, if you want to check my Twitch at some point, usually past the afternoon... Um, I will post what I'm going to be playing next week. Um, am I going to add any new games to it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, always still Wednesdays, Skylanders. And remember, next Wednesday, we are going to finish up Swap Force real quick. It shouldn't take more than an hour and a half. And we're going to go right into Trap Team. So next Wednesday is going to be the start of Trap Team. Um, I've already scanned... All my figures in for Trap Team and make sure I owned all of them because ownership on the figure is determined by game, so it actually remembers per game who the owner is. So I went ahead and took care of that already. Um, so yeah, we ready for Trap Team. And that's it. That's all I got. I think that's all I got. That's all I got. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Today was a fun stream, and despite a few disturbances, but um, otherwise I really liked Igus of Earth: Proton of Assault. It's a good game. I recommend playing it, honestly, yourself. It's pretty fun. Um, and I can definitely see it getting more fun. Because every so far, every level is introduced something new. So that's actually pretty cool to me. Anyway, I think that's it. I think that is it. So uh, we, had, we, had, we had a pretty lively stream today. So again, thank you so much for watching. Rape a panda. <coughs> Burp on stream. And, uh... Fuck me in the ass. Twice. With two dicks at the same time. Ruinot and Flamis, get on it.